There are some basic guidelines if we want to create effective email. To be effective, a message must be read and understood. Human nature, especially these days it seems, means that often people will not read past the first few lines of a message, even if they know who it's from and even if they know it's about something important. I call it the one-screen rule of composing email. Everything important should fit on the first screen. Now, keeping the body of the email short is key, but often we just have a lot of information to share, and many times that information is not in a format that easily conforms to the body of an email message. In fact, many times we need to actually share the actual file in its original format for continuity or integrity purposes. This is when it's time to consider attachments. Attachments provide the ability to attach one or more actual computer files to a message so that they can be received, reviewed, and even edited and saved by the recipient. As a recipient, have you ever received an email, though, that refers to an attachment, but the attachment is just nowhere to be found? I know it's going to sound a little silly, but the number one problem senders have with attachments is actually remembering to attach the file. Fortunately, Outlook 2013 has a brand new feature for those of us who tend to experience this little problem. It's called the attachment reminder. To see how this new reminder works, let's go ahead and open a message that has been saved to our drafts folder. Remember, if we start to create or compose an email message and then don't send it, we'll be prompted to save it. And when we save it, it goes to drafts. And there's a couple of different messages in here. We're interested in the one that is to management about budget projections. We'll go ahead and give this a double click to open it up. You can actually find the verbiage for this message in your chapter three working files folder so that you can make a message of your own and work along. If we take a quick look at this message, we can see it's addressed to management. It's about quarterly budget projections. And then it goes on and refers to this attachment. We want to be able to review the attached consolidated budget then make changes and possibly turn things back in. So obviously it's referring to an attachment, but guess what? There isn't one yet. If we look carefully, there's neither a field at the top called attachments, nor do we see an attached file within the body of the message. All we're going to do at this point is move over to the left-hand side of the screen and click or tap send. This is where that wonderful little attachment reminder displays. And it says, you may have forgotten to attach a file. Now, Outlook isn't making any assumptions. It may be wrong, so we do have the option to send it anyway, or we can just click or tap Don't Send. If we say Don't Send, the message or the warning closes out, and we're left back at the message so that we can go ahead and make that attachment. That's going to be an important little helper, because if we didn't mean to have an attachment, the worst that can happen is we say, No, thank you, Outlook. I really do want to send it now without an attachment. But the alternative is that we did forget it, and instead of looking silly or having to go back and trying to recall or send a follow-up message, we can just say, oops, never mind, let me go ahead and make that attachment before I send it. We often get curious about how this works. Outlook is actually being smart. It's looking for verbiage in the body of the message that we would typically use when we normally mean that there should be an attachment. In some ways, it's quite simple. In other ways, it just really amazes me how much we can have our technology do to help us. So, as I said, this is one of the most common email mistakes made, and it's not critical all the time, but making the mistake certainly does diminish our credibility and professionalism if our coworkers, our clients, and our vendors, or even our friends and families see us having to recall or resend messages because we forgot to attach a file. So take advantage of this new feature. Outlook actually provides it for us, and we don't have to do anything. It's going to think for us. All we're going to do is send a message, and if the need arises and is necessary, Outlook's going to help us remember to add those attachments.